Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how to make this beautiful doily pattern. So let's get started. For this project, I'm going to use 4 ply acrylic yarn in 2 shades, white and lavender, 2 mm crochet hook, tapestry needle and scissor. First we are going to make a magic circle. And we will work 16 single crochets into this magic circle. 1, 2, 3. So like this we will do 16 single crochets here. So I have made 16 single crochets. Now we will slip stitch on top of this first single crochet. Then we will start off with the round 2 for that chain 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then we will skip 1 stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. Then we will chain 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Again we will skip one stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. Again chain 4, 3, 4. Skip one stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. So like this we will continue this round. So I am at the end and I am going to slip stitch in the third chain. 1, 2, 3. So let's make a slip stitch here. So our second round is finished. So for the third round we are going to chain 1 and we will make a single crochet into the same stitch. And we will work 4 single crochets in this chain 4 gap. 1, 2, 3, 4. One single crochet on top of the double crochet. And again 4 single crochets in the chain 4 gap. 2, 3, 4. One single crochet on top of double crochet. Four single crochet in the gap. So like this, we will repeat this round. So now I am at the end. I am going to slip stitch on top of this first single crochet. I will cut off the yarn. Hide the yarn then we'll start the next round. So for the next round I am going to join this white yarn in any one of this single crochets. I am going to join the white yarn here. Pull it through. Chain 1. Then we are going to work 5 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we will skip one single crochet and then in the next stitch we will make a double crochet. So we will chain 2, skip one stitch and double crochet into the next one. Chain 2, skip one stitch and double crochet into the next one. Chain 2, skip one stitch and double crochet into the next one. So like this we will repeat till this end. So we will finish this round with a slip stitch on top of this third chain. For the next round we will chain three. Two double crochets in the gap. One, 
two one double crochet on top of this double crochet and again two double crochets in the gap then again one double crochet on top of the double crochet then again two double crochets in the gap and one on top of this double crochet so like this we will continue this round so i have finished this round for the next round we will chain three and we will work two double crochets into the next stitch that is a increase and one double crochet in the next then we will again increase in the next stitch that is two double crochets in the same stitch then one double crochet into the next stitch then increase And one double crochet then increase then one double crochet then increase so like this we will continue this round So I have finished this round and cut off the yarn. Next round I am going to continue with the lavender yarn. So join the yarn in any one of the stitches. Pull through. Chain 1. Then we will single crochet into the same stitch. Then we will single crochet around in all the stitches. We will have 90 stitch. So we will do single crochet in all the stitches. So like this we will continue all around. So I have finished this round. So for the next round, I'm going to chain one, single crochet into the same stitch. Then I'm going to work one single crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. So totally I have made 5 single crochets. Now we will chain 4. Skip 2 stitches. And again we will do 5 single crochets. 2. 3. 4 5 chain 4 skip 2 stitches then 5 single crochets 1 2 3 4 5 chain 4 skip 2 stitches and then we will continue with the 5 single crochets. So like this, we will finish this round. So I have finished this round. At the end of this round, we will be having 13 of this chain 4 gaps. So now I am going to join the white yarn. We will join it in any one of these chain 4 spaces. Pull the yarn through. joined it now we will chain 3 1 2 
3 so this is one double crochet we will do two more double crochets into the same space one two so we have three double crochets then we will chain two and again work three double crochets into the same space two three so we have three double crochets chain two and again three double crochets now we will chain five and into the next chain 4 gap we will do the same 1 2 3 chain 2 1 2 3 then again chain 5 the same we will repeat here one two three chain two one two three so we will repeat this pattern in this round we have finished this round for the next round we are going to slip stitch into the next stitch we will chain three and we will make a double crochet into the next stitch and in the gap we will work two double crochets one two then chain two we'll again work two double crochets into the gap Then we will work a double crochet into the next two stitches. We will skip this last stitch. So we will chain two. Then we will go in the center chain. That is the chain three, third chain. One, two, three. Here we will make a single crochet. Again chain two skip the first stitch into the next stitch we will work a double crochet and again another double crochet into the next stitch in the gap we will work two double crochets then chain two then again two double crochets into the same gap then we will work one double crochet into the next two stitches one two then we will skip this last stitch chain two single crochet into the third chain again chain two we will skip the first stitch and double crochet into the next two stitches In the gap we will work two double crochets two chain two and again two double crochets into the same gap then we will work one double crochet into the next two stitches leave the last stitch so we will repeat this pattern in this round So I have finished this round for the next round we are going to make slip stitch into the next two stitches one and two now we are going to chain three we are going to make a double crochet into the next stitch and in the gap we will work two double crochets chain two again two double crochets into the same space and 
then we will work one double crochet into the next two stitches one and two then we will skip these next two stitches these two we will skip and we will chain two make a single crochet on top of this single crochet of the previous round then again chain two we will skip the first two stitches and double crochet into the next stitch again double crochet in the next stitch and into the gap we will work two double crochets one two then we will chain two again two double crochets into the same gap one two then we will make one double crochet into the next two stitches one two skip the next two stitches then chain two single crochet on top of this single crochet of the previous round and again chain two skip the first two stitches one double crochet into the next two stitches in the gap we will work two double crochets chain two and two double crochets then one double crochet into the next two stitches skip the next two stitches chain two single crochet on top of the single crochet of the previous round so then chain two then we will continue the same pattern then finish this round so I have finished the round and cut off the yarn now I'm going to join this lavender color this first double crochet join the color now we will chain three now I'm going to make a double crochet in all these three stitches one two and three now in this chain two space we will make two double crochet chain two and two double crochet and now we'll continue with one double crochet in all these four stitches one two three and four then chain two single crochet on top of this single crochet of previous round and again chain two then we will make double crochet in all these four stitches one two three and four now in this chain 2 gap we will work 2 double crochet chain 2 and again 2 double crochet then we will work 1 double crochet in all these 4 stitches 2 3 and four now we will chain two single crochet on top of this single crochet of previous round then again chain two then we will continue the same pattern in this round so now I have finished this round and cut off the yarn now I'm going to join the white yarn so we are going to skip the first 
two stitches and in the third stitch we are going to join the white yarn pull the yarn through and chain one now we are going to chain three and we will make double crochet into the next three stitches one two and three and into this chain two space we will work two double crochet chain two then two double crochet again we will work four double crochet into the next four stitches two three and four we will leave this last two stitches we'll chain two so we'll chain seven three four five six seven then we will skip this first two double crochet and into the third one we will make a double crochet and we will make double crochet in the next three stitches one two and three into the chain two space we will make two double crochets one two then chain two then again we will work two double crochets then we will do four double crochets in the next four stitches one two three and four then we will leave these last two stitches we'll chain seven We will join here leaving this two double crochets and we will continue the same pattern in this round so I have finished this round so for the next round we are going to make two slip stitches one and two then chain three we'll do double crochet in the next three stitches one two three and in the gap we will do the same two double crochet chain two then two double crochet then we will do double crochet into the next four stitches one two three and four then we will skip these last two stitches we will chain three make a single crochet in the third chain three then again chain three we will skip the first two stitches the third stitch we make double crochet we will make four double crochet into the next four stitches three four in the gap we will do two double crochets chain two again two double crochets 
we will do double crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four and we will chain three single crochet in the fourth stitch fourth chain and again chain three skip the first two stitches then continue with the same pattern so we'll finish the round with the same pattern so i have finished this round and cut off the yarn now i'm going to join the lavender yarn and we'll do the last round so we will join the yarn in this first double crochet go through and chain one we will do chain three we will make one double crochet in all the stitches so two three four five six and in the chain two gap we will do two double crochets chain two and again two double crochets into the same gap then we will make one double crochet in all the stitches one two three four five and six then we will chain three single crochet on top of the single crochet of the previous round and again chain three we will work one double crochet in all the stitches one two three four five six in this gap we will work two double crochets chain two and again two double crochets in the same space we will work one double crochet in all these stitches one two three four five and six then we will chain three single crochet on top of this single crochet chain three and we will continue the same pattern for this round I'll meet you at the end so I have finished this round now I'm going to hide all the yarn tail with a tapestry needle so our dial is now ready hope you guys like this video tutorial press the like button comment below share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you guys bye bye